from ARI, which is the Arthur Isla Institute for Environmental Research. Um, to give you an overview of ARI, it's my great pleasure to introduce Fern Hames, a stalwart of ARI and um, its new director for about 12 months now, I think, Fern, um, since August last year, I think. Our intrepid Fern has worked with remote communities internationally and in Australia across many science disciplines. Um, I know she particularly loves rivers and aquatic science. Um, she has helped to establish the Jane Goodall Institute in Australia and was part of the first leadership program for women in STEM, which included working in Antarctica. So Fern is a very well regarded leader with multiple awards, including the Public Service Medal, and she's very deeply committed to and passionate about nature, its wonder and the important connection to, between people and the environment. So thank you, Fern, for introducing us to ARI today. Thank you, Michelle. What a lovely introduction. That's very kind. Thank you. Before we start, I would also like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that I'm joining you from today. I'm at ARI, so I'm on Wurundjeri country. I acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to their elders past and present, emerging leaders and any First Nations people who are with us today. I'd also like to acknowledge that we're in Guling season. For all of the Kulin Nations, this is known as Guling season. I noticed last weekend when I went out walking that the silver water was starting to flower, and the orchids were starting to pop up. This tells us that it's Guling season. And I'm so grateful for this seasonal sort of bringing together of knowledge that's been passed down over so many generations. These really important observations and knowledge about the world around us make such a difference to us and to us. And I'm really grateful. I'd like to acknowledge that. And when we talk about knowledge, you know, at, at ARI, knowledge is our currency. It, it's what we create, we store, we share. It's what we contribute to how many people, communities and organisations make decisions about how to manage our natural environment. And it's our people. It's the people at ARI that are our greatest asset. They're incredible. And they bring such a depth of knowledge along with dedication, passion and commitment to make a difference. So I am incredibly proud and in awe at some of the people at ARI. What's our vision? Our vision is about making a difference. Our vision is to make sure that our science underpins high quality evidence based decision making by governments and communities. It's pretty simple. It takes a lot of effort and work to deliver that. As Michelle mentioned, um, everyone calls us ARI, but that is the Arthur Ryla Institute for Environmental Research. And sometimes people don't know quite where we sit, but we are part of DELP. We sit in the biodiversity division in the Environment and Climate Change Group within DELP. We've got about 95 scientists now right across a range of disciplines and a business and admin team. And I just want to give you a little bit of a summary of the sorts of things that we do. This is just taking a second to load because it's. Here we go. We work across the state and a whole range of dis different systems. ARI is in Heidelberg. I'm sitting directly under those little solar panels and we work in rivers, coasts, all kinds of systems using all kinds of technologies to survey and monitor what's happening in the natural environment. Lots of different techniques, and we've been innovative in developing new tech techniques as well. We get the community involved in citizen science as well, whether it's crays, birds, whales, different things across the state, we believe in democratising science. We work in the bush, in all kinds of systems. We work in the lab. We share the stories of what we do, we work in partnerships with others. We work at night in different environments. We work during the day in different environments, monitoring populations, species, systems, all aiming for persistence of those systems and those species into the future. If you want to know more about whether there are ARI projects happening 
near you, anywhere across the state, you can check out the ARI website and, and look for all these things mapped across the state. In fact, if you go to the ARI website, you can also subscribe to hearing all kinds of updates in, on the research that we do and find out what's happening for ARI. You can subscribe to our ARI e-news. You can hear about the ARI seminars, which kind of happen about every month, and you can receive updates on either our terrestrial or aquatic work. Encourage you to do that and um, keep up to date and keep connected with us.